We're joined down here at uh, Clontarf Baths with Sinn Féin Councillor for Clontarf, Kieran O'Moore. Kieran, tell us, what's uh, happening down here this morning? There's a protest because the pool's not open to the public. Uh -huh. Was that your understanding as a councillor that it was going to be open to the public based relatively on the assurances you were given? Relatively on the planning permission that they sought, it yeah. was to be open to the public, yet yeah. the pool itself was to be open. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're putting the cart before the horse, they seem to be making all the profits on the restaurant mm -hmm. and they're not interested in the pool for the public. Yeah. Just quoting uh, the operator, and Mr David Cullen, he said, an enterprise of this size couldn't be expected to make a profit. So essentially they were looking for some sort of, dare I say, a dig out from Dublin City Council. How likely is that to happen? Most unlikely. It's not going to happen. We don't have money in the City Council to support a private project like this. Uh -huh. There's enough money have been spent on the north side pool, Trinity swimming pools, so we don't have the money to do it now. Yeah. This is, I've called this a heritage site in the sense that uh, it's been around for a very long time. It meant something to people of your and my generation. Uh, nobody is particularly saying, well, we don't want the restaurant, but we only want the restaurant in conjunction with the pool. Is that a message you're getting? The restaurant is an advocacy to the pool. By all means, people should come and enjoy the restaurant. It does lovely food, it's nice, but the pool should be open to the public. As regards the heritage, if you look at the bandstand behind you, that was an old mine in the old days. Was it? It was. And, uh, the whole coastline here was a mining project at one stage. So therefore, it is heritage, as you say, yes. Just uh, looking at the area here, and I just want to turn to our left. Um, this is a, a green that uh, essentially has been seen as a public facility. It transpires that it might not be as public as uh, it's the It's not as public as we thought it was, no. And that's why it's with Bolt and all at the moment over the parking. So if you and I were to go over there and do that interview, technically could we be trespassing? You could be, very much so, yes. Yeah. Say if you went into the bandstand, you'd be trespassing. Yeah. Now the other bit that uh, has concerned a lot of people is the rent that's being charged for this. And I understand it's um, 25,000 a year just for this whole site. Uh, one of these houses across the way, you'd probably be paying 40,000 a year in rent for that. I mean, it seems to be a very good deal. <laughs> it's an extremely good deal for them. And that's one of the reasons we insist it be open to the public. Yeah. Kieran, what's happening that will ha this happen next? Will this go before the council? I gather there was a compliance officer or something like that came out. There was. Out. Two weeks ago, there was a compliance officer out, and we await his report to see if he brings back to us yeah. in relation to the pool versus the restaurants, yes. So in a worst case scenario, the restaurant might have to shut down while they get their act together on the pool, in a worst case scenario. Hopefully not, that they get their act together on the pool before the restaurant has yeah. closed down. We Togs for on this cold day in Clontarf. We're going for a swim. To swim. Yeah. Sounds reasonable, yeah. but are you the public? Yeah, I'm the public. We're are the you public. a swimming club? No. We're no. swimmers. Uh, we're in swimming clubs. But, but we are here. But what constitutes a swimming club? We, I swam uh, here all my life as a kid. I had three bicycles robbed outside this place back yeah. in the day. Yeah. My kids are fourth generation here. swimming they were here. Again for yeah. swimming. They want, for we want another science. generation swimming here. Yeah. Some of us have had four generations of our family swimming here. Yeah. And um, this is the oldest swimming club, swimming pool on the north side of Dublin. Yeah. And uh, the north siders deserve a bath, a public bath for us to swim in. But have you misinterpreted what these good people are saying? I mean, it used to be, dare I say it, an unflushed toilet. Now they're giving you a lovely restaurant. Wasn't that what they always said? 
We don't but want there, a lovely restaurant. Well, there's loads of restaurants. The, the restaurant is secondary. Yeah. You know, we'd be, we'll be, build up an appetite. If we can go for a swim, we'll be delighted to go in and use the restaurant um, afterwards because that's what we were expecting to do. Have a nice swim and then, um, you know, dry off and go in there, uh, get nice and warm and, and have, have a meal. Uh, well, but aren't they in compliance with planning permission? It's supposed to be a mixed immunity, you know, it's supposed to be available to have a swim and then if you want to have a cup of coffee or have a meal, you can do that too. But it, 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 it's kind of one-sided, they've put all the effort into to building a restaurant and they haven't, you know, opened up the box. It should be open to the public. It's actually, it's actually secondary, it's condition uh, two of the onboard Panola decision um, in 2012, um, is that um, the First of all, that the baths be opened, uh, and they'd be opened in conjunction, but that the uh, bar, uh, restaurant, cafe would be secondary. Yeah. And obviously, if it's not open within a year, then the facility has to close, or Dublin City Council has to uh, consider uh, its options at that point. Okay, a simple question. The land here, who owns it? It's not a simple question. This land was given in lease for the people uh, by the Vernon Estate by Lady Ardalon. Yeah. So it goes back a long time, whether it's a very long hold lease or whether it's ownership. The fact is that these people now have uh, the, the use of it uh, for whatever hundreds of years. So therefore, we think they've done an excellent job in doing it up. We just want to work with them and we want to be able to use the pool and we want them to, um, we want to help them adhere to the uh, conditions of the Planning Commission. But they, uh, Mr. Cullen himself has said, an enterprise of this size cannot be expected to make a profit. Um, so what's he going to do then? Or well, on another hand, they knew what they, they knew what they were getting into. There's been many a planning application that's been rejected because of the zoning. Yeah. Um, back uh, when this was first on, we changed the zoning in here to a linear park. Uh -huh. So therefore, it was very limited in what would get permission. So this got um, permission uh, because it was providing a community facility. Uh, otherwise, it would not have got permission. So therefore, they knew what they were getting into. They don't expect the pool to make a profit. The, the, what we agreed on was that the restaurant, we understand that the restaurant would subsidise the pool. Okay, and uh, what's, uh, where does this go from here? Because uh, Dublin City Council, I believe, did an inspection. Uh, anybody can tell us about that? Yeah, Dublin City Council did an inspection uh, this day. In fact, we're marking the day. This day, two weeks ago, a fortnight ago, they did an inspection. Complaints were made. Already they've put in, there was to be 47 bicycle uh, spaces. Uh, which were, there was none up to yesterday, but I see uh, once that complaint was made they, and they knew we were coming along today, thankfully they uh, have started to adhere to that and we've got nine bicycle spaces uh, um, so ready for our bicycles today. Um, but uh, because we are cyclists and swimmers, uh, and that was, we were people that want to cycle over here from our locality and all around Dublin Bay and go for a swim. Last but by no means least, I'm guessing you're probably not going to have a swim today, uh, otherwise they'd be opening the doors and saying come in. Where do we go from here? Well, we're going to try and take a little dip around the side there and have a little peek over the wall, but you know, we will be coming back. We'll go back every week, um, every week we will come back and uh, until we get to uh, swim in that pool. Okay, thank you uh, best of luck. <laughs> Now, I, I'm guessing if you're going to use the restaurant, they do have a dress code. <laughs> yeah, I know, do they? We, we probably have to put a jacket on over I suspect our, uh, so. Maybe a dicky bow. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been lovely if we could have gone into the changing rooms that are just to our left over there and been able to use the facilities the way they were meant to be. But, the way um, it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. An active lifestyle is part of the, the broader necessity of these kinds of so and I'm sure the food has improved. So some, some improvements from back in the day, they do actually look, they were in need of renovation and they do look great. And uh, this, I'd say that the food is better than the onion rings and the, the monster, monster munches we used to get. It's getting very cold, so I'm just, I'm wondering, can you open up? There's a few of us here in our togs. Sorry? You're true to the account. You're through to the accounts department here. This is the Baths in Clontarf. You're the, yeah. you're the people that run it, aren't you? Yeah, but we're the accountants. Yeah, yeah I just couldn't you're get through to the restaurant and I've been knocking on the door for the last 10 minutes, but I'm here in my togs and there's a few of us and we know it's not meant to open without planning permission. Like it's part of the condition two of the planning permission that the 
pool was you know to be opened in tandem with the with the restaurant facilities so we're just wondering can somebody come out and let me into the pool yeah. i'm dying for a swim i'm absolutely gagging for it um, but can you I ring somebody here in the restaurant and get them to open it for me? I'll wait, I'll wait here until you open it, okay? Can you get somebody to ring me back and let me know because I'm getting very cold here and hypothermia is starting to set in. So will you ring me back? I'll give you my number, okay?